I'm Sarah Squire with Adam Smith Works, and this is the Smith Questionnaire. I'm Nir Ben Moshe, an assistant professor of philosophy at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. All right, you ready? I hope so. All right, it's going to be it's going to be quick. It's going to be fun. Good. All right. Would you rather be loved or be lovely? Well, Smith says it's better to be lovely, so I think I would go with lovely. I, I mean, I'd rather be approved for the right reason rather than just be approved for potentially the wrong reason. All right. Wealth of nations or a theory of moral sentiments? Oh, certainly theory of moral sentiments. I mean, I work on that, but I also think it's a better book. All right. If Adam Smith had a dog, what kind of a dog do you think he would have? Oh, no, I thought these weren't going to be easy questions. Uh, I don't know. I would go with a poodle. I have no idea why. All right. What is the best antidote to the torpor induced by the division of labor? Oh no, this is getting harder and harder. According to you, this doesn't, we don't need the official Smith take on it. What do you think solves the <clears throat> torpor induced by the division of labor? I don't know. I don't expect okay, to we'll think pass. about it more. Yes, <laughs> let's pass on that one. This is a very silly question. Yes. Do you think that Adam Smith would rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Probably one horse-sized duck. I think he likes to take on one thing at a time. Ah. I think, I hope. I know, that's a good answer and a good reason for oh, it, good. too. What do you pursue for pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Oh, no. Uh, well, probably uh, philosophy, I guess. I hope. I <laughs> start off with necessity, and now it's pleasurable, at least some of the time. All right. Smith says that one of the times that we experience sympathy is when we share an appreciation for a work of literature or a piece of art. So what should people read or watch or listen to in order to sympathize with you? With me? Uh, I yeah. don't know. Off the top of my head, probably Pink Floyd in terms of music, just because it's my favorite yeah. band. Um, and uh, poetry, I guess I love poetry, mostly though Israeli poets, so the names probably wouldn't help. But I'll give him a couple. Oh, Yuda Michai would be a good uh, choice. He was a nominee, he was on the list shortlist for the Nobel Prize, but never got it. Yeah, he's yeah. wonderful. Yes, he's, he's great. Uh, what does your impartial spectator look like? Oh, that's actually an interesting question, because every time <clears throat> I've worked on Smith's conception of the impartial spectator a lot, and it's actually never clear to me what exactly this character is supposed to... It's actually a question I grapple with often and I do not have a good answer. Yeah. It's not clear to me whether it's supposed to be a concrete person. It probably is not supposed to be. But then if it isn't, it's sort of never clear to me what it's supposed yeah. to look like. I think that's actually one of the difficulties with this whole impartial spectator business. What exactly this character mm -hmm. is supposed to look like. So, Smith warns us that too severe an application to study sometimes brings on lunacy and frenzy. So, should we be worried about you? Oh, God. Uh, probably, yes. I tend to study too much. I don't think it's healthy. I uh, should probably have more relaxing and uh, so on. So, yes, you should worry about me, definitely. All right, we'll yeah. check in with you regularly yes, and make sure good, you're, good. you're going fishing or yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. Last question. Oh, good. If an afterlife exists, what would you like to discuss with Adam Smith when you get there? Oh, well, first of all, what the impartial spectator actually looks like. That, mm -hmm. would, that would be a nice topic. Um, and I guess whether he's basically his picture of, of human nature is not too optimistic, ultimately, in terms of this desire to be worthy of approval, that your first question being mm -hmm. loved or lovely. I just wanted to have a sense whether he thinks he wasn't a bit too optimistic about human nature. Okay, great. And that is the Smith Questionnaire. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much.